everyone. This is what may be the first and hopefully a series of videos discussing different parts of the arms and armor of the SCA fencing rules. Today I'm going to be talking about spears, which is the newest addition to our fencing rules. The spears that uh, have recently been added have a rubber head and a rattan shaft. Now there are different types of rubber heads that are commercially available. Uh, this is a leaf type one, which is a, a pretty short one. I've seen a similar size in an octagonal cross section, although those have been hard to come by lately. There's also the much larger type of um, leaf ones. Um, these are from two different manufacturers. The rattan needs to be one and a quarter inches, plus or minus one eighth of an inch. That value corresponds very well with the following. The um, largest seller of rattan to the society. If you go to his smaller shaved rattan section, pretty much all of that is going to fit within the rapier guidelines. I've spoken with hopefully all of the merchants, although I may have missed a couple, um, so that they're aware of our needs in the fencing community. But you don't have to use shaved rattan, you can also use rattan with its skin on. And I'll be honest with you, it's harder to find a piece of skin rattan um, that will meet the size criteria. The maximum size of a spear is nine feet from butt to the tip of the rubber. Here I've got two that are on uh, regular skinned rattan with the larger heads and two, these are seven footers that are made on um, shaved rattan. And in the basic construction of these uh, spears, the head, the, sorry, the end of the spear that's going to go in the head needs to fit fairly well and it needs to go in two inches into the spear head. In fact, this one was one of the first ones that I made back when we were considering even running the experiment. And I just took it off um, in order to make sure that it still meets all of the requirements. And you can see by the color here that it actually doesn't. The original spear head only went onto it by about an inch and a half. So this is perfect. I'm going to reshape this to meet the rules and I'll show you how to do that. Um, the end needs to be flat or perhaps rounded. It certainly cannot come to a point. And the diameter here of the head needs to be at least half an inch. Just to verify, with this one, I've got a good three quarters of an inch there. So there's plenty of room for me to taper this down more so that it goes deeper into the head of the spear. Now, the reason for that, why it needs to go in two inches into the head of the spear, is actually twofold. And one is that we did find that with some of the spear heads, if it only went in a short distance, what happened once you took a hit is that the spear head bent immediately, right there at, um, at the end of the rattan. On this one, in fact, it is starting to bend and kink. I can force it right there into a kink. So this spearhead will probably soon die, but I've got the rattan nice and deep in here, so it's not really at a weak point, which would be um, near the end. The rattan actually goes in probably to about here, and um, um, this would be the weak point of, of it where, to, where to bend. All of these right now are decorated in red and green because that's in the society been the traditional color for experimental weapons. Uh, personally, I can't stand that because I'm aware that there is a good proportion of uh, humans who have a hard time distinguishing red and green, um, but that's an issue for another day. Certainly, I'm going to retape these into um, more elaborate colors. All right, so we've talked about the rattan, the size of the rattan. You've got to get the spear head onto the rattan, and then you tape it on. Um, in the rules, it is simply required that you use some sort of um, tape, like duct tape is fine, um, strapping tape is even better, but when I put the new head on, I'll show you how I happen to tape it. That said though, with having to shove this on by at least two inches into a good fit, the friction fit itself is actually going to do quite a bit to keep that head on the rattan. Um, all right, so let's talk about shaping the rattan. This 
one originally I actually did on a belt sander. Um, that's how I did the first two. And actually the other two, the ones on the um, rattan with the skin on, I drove all the way to Gulf Wars and realized that I'd forgotten my spears, but I had these two spearheads in my armor bag. So I went to a merchant, bought the rattan, I purposely bought a different type of rattan just so that I could play with it and try it out. I bought a small draw knife and I uh, fixed them up right there on the field. Um, today I will also use a draw knife just so that I can show you how to do this with sort of fairly accessible tools. If you're patient you can also use a whittling knife, um, this type of knife which I'll be honest with you I'm not entirely sure what it is but I inherited two of them a long time ago and they're super useful. To use a draw knife or that type of knife, the best thing to do is to clamp your rattan to something rigid. This, by the way, is my dining room table here out in the barn because we're refinishing it. I'll be honest with you, at Gulf Wars, I didn't have uh, a clamp, so I had someone, well actually at the time they may have been a kingdom rapier marshal of a kingdom, um, but also a dear friend, um, they sat on the end for me to provide the friction that I needed in order to shape the head. So now that I've got that nice and secure, um, sure it's still a little wobbly, but it's not going to pull out and it's not going to be a danger to me. Use the draw knife carefully. Simply dig in and pull. It doesn't actually take very long. Um, I probably did each of those two in about 20 minutes. Trick here is sharp draw knife. All right, and through the magic of camera technology, all that is done. And now I will check that this thing goes on at least two inches. So shove it on, it's a good fit. Got it to there. And I now meet the two inch criteria. Double check the end that I've got half an inch. Yep. I've got 1 16th over half an inch. Perfect. So now the head goes on. And to tape it. All right. There's no requirements in the rules about how to tape the thing on. I have found in practice, um, and I learned this from heavy list fighters, that you really want some longitudinal pieces. So what we do, this works great with strapping tape. Today I've got duct tape, and uh, so that's what I'm gonna use to show. That's probably a little too long. Put the piece on, then twist to make essentially a rope, lay that down, and attach. like so. In fact, on this one, you can see it was done a little bit more elegantly. There's one rope, two, three. There were three around. I'd prefer to go for three or four. All right, so I'm gonna do that a few more times. Twist. Lay it down stick the tab on. I'm purposely starting with the spear tip end rather than the shaft end because the second end tends not to be as smooth and this part is really largely protected by the spear head itself so it's kind of more okay if it's not quite so smooth on that end. So here we go, lay it down, sorry, um, tape it on, twist, Lay it down, and there we go. This is not a rule, it is not a requirement, it is just my preference. It gives me a little bit more um, sort of insurance against the thing getting pulled up. And now, just tape around. The tape will hold down those ropes, and also it will act as decoration. There we go. 
there is a requirement that you do have contrasting tape on that head or a rope actually i do understand of course that there are a lot of people who are um, in our society to recreate essentially high period and duct tape is not quite so high period um, so the requirement is not absolute on duct tape it is um, absolute on having something to help hold the head on and to have something colorful on the head so that if it does fly off in combat we're more likely to notice it um, there are some people who have um, ropes and tassels on the end of theirs and frankly i think that just looks awesome well thank you very much for listening this has been a short lesson on rubber-headed spears in SCA fencing combat.